Hi there. Uh, welcome to our video about proxies and their effect on web security. I'm Sean and uh, Peter will be joining us shortly. First off, we're going to have to go over what a proxy is. This is a very basic but very true representation of a proxy, where one computer acts as an intermediary between two others. When information is attempted to be sent or received, the proxy in the middle intercepts and analyzes the information. After analyzing the information, the proxy then decides what to do with the data. We're going to do a bit of an example here with myself on the right, a volunteer we had in the middle, and Peter on the left. Now, what's going to be happening in this example is I'm going to be passing a message to our volunteer who is acting as our proxy, who will then hand it to Peter. The demonstration is a little crude, but it is accurate. While it's a very basic concept, a proxy has several uses although most of which are in regards to security. Examples include scanning incoming data for viruses, preventing external users from accessing your information, and analyzing outgoing information for leaks. This first example is going to be myself making an attempt to access Peter's information. However, the proxy in the middle refuses to give Peter my request. In the second example, Peter will be sending information to me. However, in this example, the proxies identify the information as compromising and will not send out the information. Those two examples are typically used in a corporate security setting where the proxies are part of a firewall that prevents bad information from coming in and important information from going out. Proxies are a very important part of a business's security and need to be well understood when setting accessibility to your information. Proxies also have a few more creative uses, like ignoring parental controls and getting past regional restrictions. Proxies for those applications are typically free and accessed over the internet. These are called web proxies. We're going to do a little bit of an example here. We're going to go to a website called Pandora. Pandora is a internet radio website. You'll notice here that Pandora has blocked content for users outside of the United States. You'll also notice that Pandora has identified my IP address and located me in Canada. If I want to use Pandora, I'm going to have to trick it into thinking that I'm from the United States. To do so, I'm going to have to find a web proxy from the States. I managed to find one called TNT Proxy. If you ever tried to visit MySpace or Facebook in high school and it was blocked out, these websites should be able to help you bypass those kind of things. As indicated on the front page, TNT Proxy also managed to misspell college. So we'll scroll down here. This is the more important part of the website. Pasting the link in here will allow you to access that website from TNT. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Pandora we're going to copy the link. We're then going to go back to TNT Proxy and paste it. After hitting enter, we should be able to access Pandora. It's a little blank on the first page, but you'll note that we don't have the inaccessibility message anymore. We'll click the About link and note that we have actual access to the website. We'll go try searching for an artist now. We'll click on the Lennon link, and now we have access to his profile. And that's basically it. We now have access to a website we didn't have access to before because we were located in Canada. When using a web proxy, be careful not to enter any sensitive information. Because the information is relayed between the proxy website and your intended destination, there's a major risk that the owner of the proxy server can take your information. You must also be aware that users may either use web proxies or privately owned proxy servers to try and access your information, similarly to the way we did with the Pandora example. Whether you're trying to prevent unwanted exchanges of information or merely trying to remain anonymous, remember that proxies are predominantly used for security. Thanks for watching. I encourage all of you to do some more research on your own to find some more practical or even unconventional uses for proxies. I just ask that you use your powers for good and not evil.